Welcome to Dashway Talks, a show powered by Dashway Consulting, a China-based strategic market research company founded in 2010. With Dashway Talks, you will stay up to date with all the latest business updates in China. Every day, you will learn from China-based experts who share their knowledge about the Chinese market in two to five minutes. Hi, I'm Jess. I'm an order manager from Design Shira and Associates. We are a professional service firm providing all kinds of market entry, accounting, tax, legal, and other advisory services for international investors who would like to conduct business in Asia. What's new in the new accounting standards? There are several accounting standards that have、uh, became effective starting from January the first, twenty twenty one. And they cover revenue, leases, and financial instruments. The accounting standards in China is called the Chinese Accounting Standards for Business Enterprises, or CAS in short. And these standards are required for use by all the large and medium-sized companies, not just the listed ones. So about the newly effective accounting standards, here are a list. And we can see it includes CAS 14 on revenue, where the standard requires companies to adopt a five-step revenue recognition model. And also, we have、um, CAS 21 on leases, where there are significant changes in terms of let's say accounting. And also, you can see there are four accounting standards on financial instruments. They are. CS twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, and CS thirty seven. Well, these standards mainly affect companies operating in the finance sector, but there are some changes that would affect companies from other industries as well. For example, there is a so-called the expected quite a loss model, where、um, you need to consider when you assess provision for bad debt. And that would potentially affect almost every company in China. We interrupt this show to bring you breaking news of more awesome China business tips. You can find these tips on our other China business channels. Instead of hunting online for information about the Chinese market, subscribe to our newsletter, and every week we will deliver China business news to your inbox. Find the link in the description. Are Chinese standards close to IFRS or GAAP? To what extent do the new standards make them closer or more different? A, a lot of foreign investors wonder what are the differences among the CES, the Chinese Accounting Standards, the International Financial Reporting Standards, and the U.S. GAAP. Well, it is impossible to specify all the differences in one episode. I think it's at least safe to say that the new Chinese accounting standards have brought the CAS much closer to the IFRS and US GAAP. So let's take revenue as example. CAS 14, which is revenue, and IFRS 15, which is、uh, revenue from contracts with customers, and ASC 606 from US GAAP, they have. Almost identical revenue recognition principle, which states that revenue is recognized when you satisfy a performance obligation, which is when you transfer a product or a goods or services to a customer. So, in all these standards, revenue is contract-based rather than activity-based. So that means that there has to be a contract before you can recognize any revenue, regardless of the international context. And of course, it can be a written contract or a oral contract. And also, all these three standards they adopt the five-step revenue recognition model, where you have to firstly identify the contract, identify the performance obligations in the contract. Um, determine the transaction price, allocate the transaction price、uh, to these performance obligations, and finally recognize revenue when you satisfy the performance obligations. And also in terms of revenue measurement, CES, IFRS, and US GAAP are substantially the same when it comes to、um, the accounting treatment for. Non-refundable upfront fee,、uh, or things like variable considerations such as D 
discounts, consider、uh, concessions,、um, allowances, things, things like that. And of course, it does not mean that there are no gap differences at all. The gap differences definitely remain, and some of them are more substantial than others. And also, in terms of leases and financial instruments, the new Chinese accounting standards also make accounting in China closer to IFRS and the US gap compared to the old ones. And in fact, if you look at the history. Of the Chinese accounting standards, in 2006, the Ministry of Finance in China issued a set of new、um, accounting standards that are very similar to the IFRS. And more recently, the IASB issued revenue standards, which is IFRS 15, in 2014.、Um, and three years later. The Ministry of Finance in China revised the Chinese revenue standards, and in in 2017, and similarly, the IASB issued a new standard on leases、um, in 2016, and two years later, the Ministry of Finance revised、um, the corresponding standards as well. So you see, well, there has been a two or three year gap between the revised IFRS. Gaps issued on the co- corresponding revised CAS, but the the Ministry of Finance in China is definitely committed to converge the accounting standards towards the global standard. So surely there will be some、um, modifications to meet local requirements, but I think at least the newly effective accounting standards are already very similar to the IFRS and the US gap. Any questions? We will find an expert to answer them. Drop your questions in the comments or send us an email: dx at dashwayconsulting dot com.